Hi, I'm Josh with Kids Ministry Tools. In this video, we're gonna talk about temptation. This glass represents sin, and this water balloon represents you. And we don't just fall into sin. No, it doesn't work that way. Have you ever heard that phrase, I fell into sin? No, the Bible says, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust. And when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. We are not just automatically gonna go sin, sin, sin. No, we are tempted to sin. Now, temptation is not a sin. Sin is anything that we do that displeases God, like lying, cheating, stealing, anything that breaks God's law. Temptation is the drawing away that wants us to do those things. For instance, looking at a piece of candy is not a sin. Taking the piece of candy that belongs to somebody else, that would be stealing. That is a sin. So since this represents me and this represents sin, most of us, we don't just sin automatically. We don't just fall into sin, so to say. No, sin comes when we are tempted. And we get tempted to do something that is what? Bad or wrong or that is in God's eyes, evil. And that fire represents temptation. And when you get tempted to sin, boom, you get sucked in to sin. You don't just fall in, no, you get sucked in by temptation. We don't need to let temptation to come into our life. But here's another problem. Once we're in sin, how do we get out? You see, once you're there and you're stuck on the inside, you're stuck and there's really it's hard to get out. Have you ever tried to get out of sin on your own? It's not gonna work. So how does somebody get out of temptation? How does somebody get out of sin? Well, God hath made a way of escape. That's what this straw represents. This straw represents a way of escape. So when the straw is there, and now you can pull the balloon straight out. See how easy that was? So when you're stuck in the sin, oh boy, I'm gonna have to use the way out to get to the way in. There we go. When you're stuck in sin and you can't get out and you're stuck in by a temptation, maybe it's by seeing something you're not supposed to see, hearing something you're not supposed to hear, and you want out, go to God who hath made a way of escape. And that way you can just easily get out because you went to God. Don't try to get out all on your own. Go to God. He has made a way of escape. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this object lesson. If you did, smash the like button. If you really like it, subscribe. God bless you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.